Guys, I'm in Amsterdam Central Station. I promise you guys to go to Athens, that's the zoo here in Amsterdam. And it's finally the day. We're visiting. Athens is a zoo and botanical garden in the center of Amsterdam. It's the oldest zoo in the Netherlands and the fifth oldest zoo in the world. The first thing that I did when I entered the gates was visit the gift shop to get an impression of the products they sell. These products were all worthwhile, especially if you have younger kids who love animals. The items are also reasonably priced for European standards. So what are you to do? The animal stuffies were all made with great eye for detail. I already know I'm going to visit the store again to get some gifts. The official name of artist is Natura Artis Magistra, that's Latin for nature, is a teacher of art. I already mentioned artist is one of the oldest zoo in the world. Now you're wondering how old is it? Well, it was opened in 1838, so that means it's 186 years old. In addition to the zoo, Artis also contains a aquarium, a planetarium, a arboretum, micropia, and the great museum, which is named Grote Museum. Part of the art section is on display in the aquarium building of the zoo. <laughs> Artis contains 27 historically significant <laughs> buildings, bridges, and ponds, most of which are still used as animal enclosures. The zoo is a member of the Dutch Zoo Federation, the European Association of Zoos and Aquaria. Guys, the building you just saw is an aquarium and there's like a message on it. They're renovating it. It's about time uh, because I remember in Amsterdam, all the children when they used to go to school, artists was a staple visiting the zoo and the aquarium was a little bit old so it needed renovation so I'm happy to see now that I'm walking here they're renovating it. Um, I would love to see what they make of it. I'm sure that when they're done it's going to be one of the eye catchers when it comes to attractions in Amsterdam to see. So I'll keep you posted. Once the aquarium is renovated, I will come to Artis again and showcase you what they've made of it. The zoo was founded in 1838 by three animal lovers, Dr. Herman, J.W.H. Werleman and J.J. Weissmuller, also known as the three W's. It was initially opened only to members. Starting in 1851, it was open to the public during the month of September. How in 1990, it was open year-round to the public, but September remains discount month. The core of the current zoo property, then the Middenhof estate, was purchased by the board of the Zoological Society Natura Artis Magistra late in 1838 in the Plantage, which was then a thinly populated area on the outskirts of Amsterdam. From the start, it exhibited both live and mountain specimens. The zoo is commonly referred to as artist because the zoo has three gates with the words Natura, Artis and Magistra written above each of them. More often than not, only the middle gate was open so that people would walk through it seeing that the artist was written above it believed that the zoo was just called artists. You know what's so cool about artists is that you have like artists.
his testing out there, drawing skills. So fun to see. I used to be a fifth drawer myself. I think I need to get some tools again because you know due to being too busy I stopped drawing stopped coloring but it's a hobby I need to get into it again real quick it's something I love something I love to do so I'm going to do that again we're at the restaurant Waterkant, it means waterside. Giraffes. And it's where you have I almost walked walk past and them. Animals like and they're all sad. Check elephants. this out. A little bit of Africa in Europe. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the changes they made in the zoo. The giraffes and elephants used to stay somewhere else on the property. I almost feel sorry for the African animals because they're used to warm weather, hot weather, and now, okay, it's not quite summer in Amsterdam. It's cold. I'm like, oh no, this is not the temperature that they're just accustomed to. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's all being done to basically entertain us. So, this part is new. It didn't used to look like this. But artists decided to change the whole interior of the place where the elephants stay. Elephants are going uh, inside again. I have no idea why this is happening. If you know what the reason for this is, please write it down in the comment section. I'm very much interested. you just saw is a watusu cow and it's from Africa originally and these cows are used for the veneration of the king the king owns these kinds of status symbols mm. <laughs> This animal is an armadillo and its name means little armored one in Spanish. They are native to the Americas where they inhabit a variety of different environments. For those of you wondering where I'm from, I'm from South America, Suriname to be exact, that is the neighboring country of Brazil and Guyana. Suriname is also known as Dutch Guyana. We are now in the area of the tropical monkeys. This looks like a semi-secret garden. I forgot the name of the animal you're about to see. We were warned to be cautious around them as they are known to take personal belongings of park visitors. Let's call them orange monkey for now. For some reason, they were extremely sleepy and in a nap mood. This is the old lion environment. We finally made it to the building where they keep the reptilians. It was so warm and humid, but I think that was the point for them to feel at home. And like they're in the natural environment. I'm looking out for the crocodiles, but I haven't seen one. Let me walk a little further, maybe I'm in luck. Oh, I found it! One moment, please! 
heavy in Amsterdam. I'm on my way to the beautician. After that, I will go for a petty. Another thing, should you have tips for new shows on Netflix, please share them in the comment section. I just watched a Nigerian series called Postcard. It's really good. It's based in Lagos and in India. And the storyline is about the power of healthy family relationships, but also the relationship you have with yourself emotionally, but also health-wise. It's a really good watch, so please check it out. Three hours later. Guys, I decided to make a dessert, a Surinamese Japanese dessert. Uh, Suriname has a big Japanese population from Indonesia, so I made the dessert. The ingredients are, of course, sugar, corn flour, maizena, vanilla aroma, coconut milk. Guys, it's so good. Oh my God. What you need to do is boil it into a pudding. Just put all the ingredients, add the milk bit by bit, and then add all the ingredients. You need 250 gram cornstarch, 250 gram sugar, one pint of salt, 800 milliliter coconut milk, a 1.2 liter water, lemongrass is optional, food coloring this time i decided to use yellow now it looks it looks like orange food coloring and yes after it uh, cools off put it in the fridge it's served cold see you in the next vlog we will visit another interesting place